Let's practice some more formatting here in Excel 2010. I'm going to begin by clicking on this top left corner near A1. Click, and you notice how the entire screen becomes kind of uh, grayish blue. That means everything is selected. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my mouse over to any of these columns, right click, and notice how you can change the column width. You can change the column width to 30, and right away it changes everything to width 30. And if I right click, and go to row height and type in 30. Notice how all uh, the columns and rows uh, have been adjusted for the whole entire document. Now what can we try here? I'm going to highlight uh, these four cells and click on merge and center and notice how it's treated as one cell. You can also right click uh, or you can go to the merge and center button and you can uh, unmerge cells to get rid of that but I, I want it merged. So I'm going to merge and center these cells I'm just going to choose some uh, colors here. These fill colors, I'll just choose uh, green and yellow. Looks like a flag. It's very pretty. Uh, what else can we do? We can highlight these two cells now, these two giant cells, and click on this little drop down box here called borders. You can choose outside borders. If you click off of it, you can see how there's a thin black line going around now. It looks very nice. You can even control Z to undo what you just did. And I can choose a thick box as well. I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo, or Ctrl Z, depending on if you're Canadian or American. And I'm going to highlight these and right click and try something interesting. I'm going to go to Format Cells. Notice how when you go to Format Cells, you can get quite custom in the border tab here. I'm going to choose this little dotted line and notice how nothing happens. Nothing happens until you actually click on this button here, Outline. And you can try these other options as well and click OK. So when I click off of it, you see how we actually created a custom dotted line. You can get quite fancy with all these different formatting options. So let's uh, try that one more time. I'm going to right click, go to Format Cells after highlighting these two cells. And what's interesting here is that if you change the format, if I change it to this thin dotted line, it doesn't change until you actually uh, choose something. So if I chose, um, let's just choose the um, the top and the bottom only. So I'm going to click on none. Click on none first, then manually, individually click on top border and bottom border. Notice how it's showing the preview there. It looks good. Click on OK. Now when you click off of it, you notice how there's a thin dotted line on the top and a thin dotted line on the bottom. So we're learning how to customize things in a very pretty way. Now let me type in something here. There are lots of office jobs, office related jobs. And every company needs someone to organize information and that's that will be uh, true for a long time and that's why Microsoft Excel is so popular. Uh, notice how we can change the font size here at the top. I'm going to type in 20 to make this a bit bigger. You can bold it by pressing B. I means italicize. U means underline. So we're learning quite a lot of things here. And let me type in, I love Excel 2010. So let's make this a bit bigger. And notice how you can even change the font. So what font should you not use in a professional context? Comic. Comic makes everyone happy, although doesn't it? OK, so what else can we do here is we can left justify by clicking on this button here. You can see it aligns to the left. You can click on Right Justify, and my personal favorite is Center, as well as Middle Align. This uh, button here above the Center button is Middle Align, and that comes in handy, particularly if your row is very, very tall. Notice how there's a Top Align, Bottom Align, and Middle Align, and this is great. So these are some of the key, key ideas that will probably be uh, sufficient for 99% of your formatting, but of course we can always learn some more fa formatting in a future video. Congratulations, you now know how to make things very pretty.